and I went, welcome to my fire uh, review. This is Andre Roy versus Soga um, Kovalev 2. So last Saturday, Andre Ward faced off against Soga Kovalev in a rematch of the highly controversial fight back in November 2016, I think. This, of course, was for the WBA, IBF, WBO, and also the Ring Magazine Light like Heavyweight World Titles. Um, 12 rounds, of course, like any World t Championship fight. And uh, from the off, obviously, people were wondering what was going to happen for the second fight because, like I said, Andre Ward um, had a controversial decision win over Kovalev last year. Many people thought that Kovalev did win. Um, I can't remember what I said exactly in my other re uh, but, uh, review about the fight or the prediction uh, for this uh, rematch. Um, but if you look closely, people there's a good argument that Kovalev did win the fight. They got knocked down in round two as well. He just seemed a more fresher or better game planned, uh, prepared fight in the first half of the fight. Second half, Kovalev did say he did run out of gas or lost stamina, and Andrew Ward did uh, get back into the fight. Whether he won the fight or not, that's up for debate. But um, in this fight itself, Andrew Ward did a better performance uh, this time around, but it did have a controversial ending. Um, the referee uh, didn't really have much control over the round eight, which the best when the fight ended uh, round eight by knockout. Um, prior to the stoppage, Andrew Ward was hitting Kovalev with good shots, especially to the body as well. I think that's where Kovalev, or sorry, Kovalev had his weaknesses. Um, the fight itself was very entertaining as well. There's some good moments back and forth. Andrew Ward had his moments, so did um, Kovalev, uh, like you would expect from a uh, top uh, world title fight from two uh, expert, two expert, two of the best fighters in their weight class. Um, I said the controversial ending didn't help uh, boxing or referees itself because prior to that there was a undercard fight. Um, Guillaume Rigondeau uh, fought, um, or defended his WBA Super Bantamweight title, and that had a controversial ending as well where. Rigondeau hit him before, after the bell, and uh, the, his opponent sort of not faked it, but like sort of had a delayed reaction. And I got five, ten minutes of referees and judges and video footage being looked through, and they come to a decision. This one didn't take as long, but it just it seemed a bit uh, far too quick stoppage for my liking. Like for a world title fight, two uh, top quality fighters, Ko uh, Kovalev, the challenger, former world, former world champion, Andre world champion. You'd like to think that even though Kovalev did sort of arch his body, um, I don't think he was uh, like really badly hurt. Like I can tell you he was hurt from one of the body shots before it, um, but I don't think he seemed to like be that fuss over the shots. I know he's all arched and he did, did look like he was in trouble, but he should have taken a knee, taken the standing 10 count or 8 count, got up again and carried on because that's what I would have done in that situation. But you don't know if he was really hurt because he didn't really... He didn't really put up a fight, didn't really object to it. He wasn't like, oh, what are you doing, what are you doing, like, what are you going to fight for? He didn't really say any of that. It was after the fight that uh, Kovalev and his, and his team were protest protesting that the fight got stopped too early. They're going to look into investigations into the ref organisations as well because it wasn't standard. They're going to try and push for a third fight. Um, I don't know if that's really going to happen now because Andre Ward, controversial or not, has got two wins now out of two against Kovalev. And... Um, Normally, when you get two and no out of two fights, um, unless there's a massive money needs to be made in that fight, then of course I don't see Andre Ward um, going against Kovalev again. Um, of course, people say now Don Stevenson should fight Andre Ward, um, who of course is the current WBC light heavyweight champion. He's been champion since 2013 after knocking out Chad Dawson, but since then he hasn't really fought anyone of note. I know he fought Andre von Farah twice. Most recently was his last fight, and that was quite recently. But since then, he just hasn't really fought anyone apart from from Farah twice and Chad Dawson. And it's really bad that the BBC is letting Stevenson pick his own fights. He's not really moving locations. He's staying in Canada, which is his hometown. I just think it's really annoying that like Andre Ward and the likes of Sogo Kovalev actually have defended their titles against other opposition in America, and. You can see there, I guess, world, world title holders. I mean, look at Kovalev, he didn't, he didn't need to take the Andre Ward fight, but Andre Ward come up from super middleweight to light, middle, light heavyweight, and he took on the challenge. Yeah, he might have come short, he might, he might have been exposed in certain ways, but he actually went after, or Andre Ward went after the best fighter in the division, 
Um, and Stevenson, I think, should get stripped of the belt or he should have been stripped ages ago when there's other fighters who've had um, had to vacate the belts or have been stripped for lesser reasons. And you see Stevenson just holding to his belt way longer than he should. Who would win that fight at Stevenson and Ward? I mean, Stevenson can hit really hard. He's got a tremendous punch of power. Ward is a slick boxer, so it depends. That'd be a great matchup if it did get made. I'm not sure if it get made because I think they're two different networks as well, which obviously is always some cause hassle. Um, but right now, comments down below what you think of the stoppage. Was it premature? Uh, was it too late? Was it correct? I don't know anyone who's actually said it's correct. Where does Ko Kovalev uh, go from here um, on? Uh, he's been in two big fights. He can be world champion again. It depends who uh, will be champion from in the future. Andre Ward, where does he go next? Does he give Kovalev a third fight? Uh, Stevenson uh, fight? Go down that route. Um, he's been talking a lot, going the likes of up to Cruiserweight or Heavyweight. Heavyweight, I think, is too far for him to go. Cruiserweight could be a good option. There's some okay fights over there. Nothing uh, of like excitement at the minute, but if he does go over there, then... Who knows what could happen, but um, I mean, prior to the stoppage, Andrew Ward, I think, did more in the fight to deserve the win. I said knockout doesn't really do itself justice because I think if it was a 12 round decision, Andrew Ward would have probably won majority of rounds. I did think, I think, before the stoppage, Covid was winning, I think, by the odd point, I think, but people also did have Ward up as well, so it's more like 50 50. It was a great fight while it lasted. Shame about the stoppage, but hopefully referees can maybe do a bit, bit, could do better judgment calls in the in the future because it does ruin good fights, especially like a big fight like this for the light heavyweight uh, world titles as well. But write in the comments down below as well what you thought about the fight. Um, it'll be interesting to see what you think in the comments down below, and if you can like it as well, if you enjoyed it as well, share it as well if you if you want to as well. It doesn't matter how you share it, and uh, hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next video.